if, if they are the result of, uh, let's say, enclosure from about 1600 onwards, something like that, the tendency is for them to be straight. You know, they're, they're put in by surveyors, they're straight lines, they're drawn on a map first and they go out and plant them up. If, on the other hand, they're older than that, they might be all sorts of shapes. Um, one of the characteristic shapes you get a lot is either in plan or when you look along them, they're sort of reversed S shape, where there's been strips of arable in the common fields around the village, and then they've been enclosed by people just hedging in their strip. There is information in the species. I mean, a lot of the enclosure hedges that are put in, for example, in the 18th or 19th century, are predominantly uh, hawthorn. <coughs> Sorry, it's the bluebells. It's the bluebells. Sometimes they're hawthorn, blackthorn, you know, there are a limited number of species, whereas as a rule of thumb, the older the hedge, the more variety of species it, there are. And it's actually not rocket science to learn 15 species that you're likely to get that are of interest. I mean, things like wayfaring tree, spindle, you know, if, once you can recognise those, you're likely to be in an old hedge. And the sort of theory that, that, that is loosely thought about is if you take a certain length of hedge line... Yeah, 30 metres or something like that, yeah. You count the species, yeah. and the more species there are in that hedge line, the older it's likely the, to be. The, the likely is that it's an ancient hedge, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you look at known medieval hedges that you know for one reason or another must have been there in 1400 or something like that, the chances are that they're going to have more species and a, ver a, a variety of these things like wayfaring tree, spindle and indeed a variety of ground flora, you know, the, the, dog, the dog, dog's mercury and stuff like that, than a hedge pudding in, in, in 1800 or 1830 which is likely to have predominantly hawthorn in it. <laughs>